We're sitting here at the Valley of the Basher Kill. As you can see from the background behind me, it's a broad, flat valley, extending from the mountains on the far side over to mountains over on the side to you, to the right. At one time, this entire valley was full of ice during the ice ages. They covered the tops of the highest ridges, clear over there, tops, clear over here on the other side, the Shongum, they were all covered. And as the ice melted down, those ridge tops would be exposed, and this valley would be the last place that the ice extended. And you'd see a huge tongue of ice extending up and down this Basher Kill Valley. On the sides of it, there were rivers flowing, and there would be gravel pits found along the far side where the meltwaters from the glacier deposited the gravel, and you can find them on both sides of the valley. Well, below that, the glacial till down there was sort of covering the bottom of the valley like a blanket, and it's loaded with clay and not very well drained, which means the waters that accumulate here aren't able to percolate down, so you wind up with the, the flooded area here in the Basher Kill. As the glaciers melted down even further, they sort of exposed the shape of the valley, which is a broad, gentle U-shaped valley, a characteristic valley pattern developed by glaciers. Uh, so uh, this valley itself, never mind looking at the rocks, gives an indication that there were glaciers here, and again, since we've been talking about climate change, an indication that there's been vast changes in the climate here of Orange County, from glaciers 10,000 years ago to the present rather modern climate that we all enjoy and that mankind evolved in.